our time is coming. Like it's, it's on the calendar. Really focus on where you want to be because it's yours. It's all you have. Right. If I want to be great, like what am I going to do today to be there? I appreciate you sitting down with us, man. Yo, Murphy, Hip Hop Study Hall, man. I appreciate you doing it, man, and uh, giving us your time, man. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I, you know, I appreciate you. You know, the things that you're doing, and 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 you know, being involved in this. You right. know, what I mean, being asked for this. You know, we all work. Right. You know, to work for for our why and our our family, our people, and all that. But when you can have people that you respect and you admire you know, give you love back, it means a lot, I guess. I appreciate you know that, saying? man. And I, and I think your story is dope, man. So I, and I, I just I want to kind of get into it too, man, because you've had quite a career, man. And like, without me over talking it, give us a little bit of, of your story, man, and how you got to this point of man. being the boss here at House of Athlete. I was born in, in California, moved to Idaho. My dad got out of the military and my dad's a nuclear chemist and had a great opportunity there. You know, I just wanted to play anything, you know, ended up playing football, had a great opportunity to play in the NFL, NFL Europe, XFL, and had a championship, you know, played in the championship in all of them. Um, and, you know, the big thing for me was I just treated everything as um, I wanted to be great, you know, right. like whatever opportunity I had, whatever stage, I wanted to perform and I wanted pe people to, to tell me I was great or to tell other people I was great. I didn't right. want to, to, to tell anybody I was, you know, I wanted to show it. And so when I had an opportunity, that's what I, I tried to do um, everywhere I went. And, and that helped me get to a position where I could train great athletes, you know, elite, elite people in their field. Right. Um, and because of my mindset, not because of my ability, you know, I got done with Shaq Leonard a minute ago and, you know, in his foot, there's more talent than I have in my whole body, <laughs> right. you know? Um, however, I know the mindset needed you know, to be great. I know what these guys go through and these, these women go through on that path. You know, being released, having the opportunity to sit in a locker next to Isaac Bruce, uh, Randy Moss, Derek Brooks, and, and picking their brains, the Kurt Warners of the world, Marshall Fault. It's helped me, you know, have some stuff that I can share with these guys on, on the path they want to take. You knew that you wanted to be an athlete because you, you obviously fell in love with sports and the sport of football. But in that, did you ever see the part of your life that's happening now where you were like this mentor, this guy that is actually training the elite, the elite athlete, athlete period. Did you ever see that in your dream as you were, you know? When, I was, when I was young, I didn't. However, um, when I was with the Rams, I tore my quad tendon. And I worked with a, a performance therapist, uh, you know, who was getting me to my ready to play state. And then I was going back to the team and I couldn't even walk. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't extend my leg, nothing. And this guy got me to a position where I could run again. And so when I saw and felt what that man did for me, I was like, that's, that's what I want to do. You know, I, I want to be involved in this sport as long as I possibly can, you know, with the youth, uh, with the pros. You know, we based this when we started off, uh, we wanted to just be straight youth. It morphed uh, into that, um, but it wasn't our plan, you know. Um, our plan was, like you said, to mentor. Would you say a great coach is also a great mentor? Yeah, yeah. These guys are so talented. If I get them to believe in themselves and, and think about, you know, I can't be just focused on sets and reps, right? When guys come in, care if you're a 10-year vet or a 10-year-old, um, you write your goals out and your why. Um, so I can go back to that at any time and say, hey, we're not on track. If this is your goal right. and mom is your why, what would she think about this? You know what I mean? Mm. I want to be in a position where it's a collaboration. I'm not demanding you do stuff, but I'm the bus driver on where you said you wanted to go. What does it take to be a good mentee, though? You got to be open and humble. My dad, the things that he was telling me and the things that he was um, showing me, my dad would never say, don't do that, this is wrong. My dad, we'd have a conversation, you know what I mean? Now you're gonna get to the point at the end of it, right. but there was always a conversation. It was always a learning experience, you know? And 
I wasn't receiving what I should have. I wasn't receptive to what I should have been. And and I feel like I tell our coaches, our biggest thing is we're hum humble servants. And that's to be a mentor or a mentee, humility's got to be involved. You know, you know, we did some backstory on it, right? And well, one of the things we definitely did, right, was we went to your Instagram, right? And it's <laughs> it's popping, right? We got you got a lot of things going on. And then we went to the top. And one thing it says up there before everything else, father, husband, yeah, like, yeah. like how important is that foundation of, of your family? And, and like I said, I know about you and I, and I, I see you and the smiles and, and yeah. you know, and, and your kids and that sort of thing. How, how, how much does that help you in the, the daily hustle and bustle of <laughs> House of Athlete, Yo Murphy out here, that foundation of, of, of that? You know, this is year 17. Um, I started with Boog, Booger McFarlane and, and Corey Ivey in a warehouse. And Boog's like, look, man, I see this makes you happy, man. Let's let's get this warehouse. You know, it was an old boxing gym. Um, and it's been hard. You know what I'm saying? There's been, I was talking to my wife the other night. Um, you know, there's years uh, where we brought in, you know, a lot of money and I took home, you know, 20 grand, you know, for the year. Um, it's before we had kids, she supported me. She's there. She's a She's a strong woman, you know? And I have, I have two little kids, my daughter's six, my son's three. And, you know, like I was talking about the why, I never, ever hesitate on my why. So I never, ever have a pause, a hesitation on my mission and what I have to do and how I'm gonna accomplish it. And, and, I, and I tell people, um, I, know, I know what it looks like. I know how to get there. We're not there yet but we'll get there, you know, because of that, because of what I have in my back pocket and what I'm, I'm pushing for. So I just keep it there. And that's why I think I'm so emotional about it because it's not like I ever have to go look for it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's right there. It's like those, you know, your buddies that just love to fight. You know what I mean? Right. Like what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so mine just tapped me on my shoulder all the time and it, it, it keeps me strong. You seem to be putting together a well, a well-rounded staff here too. Like, and, and, you know, we talk about the NFL and we talk about how many of the players are black, but then it's a, it's a constant pulling about coaching and people in the offices that are doing the actual business of entertainment and sports. Well, let's just, let's go like that. Not even just the NFL. How important or how much do you keep in here when it comes to thinking about representation of, of your, of your business and the things that you do? All the time. I want athletes to see um, themselves in the coaches. There half, there has to be, um, some crossover, like, you know, did you come from where I came from? Do you look like me? Do you talk like me? Did you have a single mom, two parents? You know, there's certain things that, to get a guy to really, and for things to relate, be relatable, like there has to be crossover. So it's, it's, a, it's a big focus of mine, always. For things to change in pro sports, period. Um, the people running pro sports have to be black. People coaching have to be black. Not all black, but I'm right. saying we have to have a voice. You know what I mean? Like right. there has to be a voice that people stop and listen. There's a lot of position coaches that are black, you know, because they can relate, you know what I mean, to the players. You don't see a lot of DB coaches, corner coaches, receiver coaches that are white. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I'm not going to go get a black coach and he's awful. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if you want all of us to eat, you better, you better bring something to the table, you know? And so, so that's, that's, that's my piece on it. Um, and it just gives people an opportunity that need an opportunity. One of the things I preach is like, one of my moniker has always been Tampa's most connected DJ, right? But a black man looked at me and said, I'm gonna give you this opportunity. When I first got my major job at radio, mm. I'm not saying somebody else wouldn't have, cause I've also got another friend, big shouts out to Mike Olivero, who doesn't look like me at all. And when I called him and needed an opportunity, he said to me, I got something for you. But I had to go into your other point though and be able to do the job. Like I can't walk in here, yo man, I want to be a trainer because I know you. You're like, well, you can wish your qualification. Do yeah. you even do you even come to the gym? Right? You know, so yeah, that's one. Let me, let me, can I I'm gonna do these two, last two things with you yeah. before I let you get out of here. And and one is just what's next for you, House of Athlete, Yo Murphy, what what's next? I'm really focused on is getting um, a year-round program for the pros. So, so a year round program for the pros where we can be involved in everything that they need. So in season, out of season, nutrition, doc. So, you know, we're building like a concierge service for them. 
Another thing that's really um, that, that that's really special I'm focused on is um, I just started a foundation. Started, I haven't done anything with it. Just got everything done, so I'm a 501-3C, um, and uh, it's called uh, Jerseys for Justice. So a lot of the players that I'm working with, um, just asking for jerseys. I have a bunch from them, but they're personalized. Um, I'm asking for jerseys to them to put their favorite quote on there, sign their name, and then what we're going to do is, you know, online auctions, send them to other players that have silent auctions, and just get get money and then help where help is needed. You know what I mean? And not necessarily only, you know, just actual justice, like social justice, but, you know, kids like we were talking about, we we're talking about eating healthy. Well, how am I gonna eat healthy if I don't have food? You know right. what I mean? Like just, just putting it out there to everybody and have certain criteria and say, man, if you need help, you know, we're gonna try to help, you know? So that that's, that's probably, um, you know, not on the, business side as much but something that I really feel um, you know with the athletes that I have that you know would, would support it we could do a lot of good yeah that, that's really dope too man like and it's crazy like just the ideas right like you said it takes a minute to get them developed though but yeah. like these ideas they can like I can see them working like that yeah. that's what's that's what's dope one last thing man and, and I, lo I love to to end these interviews with this man like if you could give advice to these kids out here, like one piece of advice to athlete or just just a kid in general that's like, yo Murphy, could, could you just tell me something positive that or something that I need to know or I should know, like right now, what would it be? You know, one would be, um, you know, trust yourself, be confident in yourself. You know, um, I see a lot of guys and girls that don't don't get to where they want to get or believe they can or even should get because they don't have confidence that they can get there or do certain things. You know what I mean? Right. Um, there's nothing wrong with, with being embarrassed and failing. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Actually, you know, my failure helps me where a lot of things don't just affect me anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and two, like we were just talking about a minute ago, just be be persistent in your future. Like really focus on where you want to be because it's yours. It's all you have. You know what I mean? Like it's it 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 frustrates me with when I see a story of somebody who was this and and got killed or was in jail or you know or, or just went 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 awry on things that didn't have to happen. Right. Um, and I feel like that's just a big thing. If you can really focus and know, man, this is. It's a bad time now, but it's going to pass, you know, like combine. What I always tell the guys, we don't have an opportunity to be frustrated because our time is coming like it's it's on the calendar. You know what I mean? So there's things that we just know we, we got to push through and we will get through it. I, I just think a lot of kids are like you and I when we we're 16 right. is like this is a here and now. This is all I got, you know, but the future man is like they say, you know, that old saying the future's so bright. You know, I just got to you know, I got to carve my path out. Man, um, all I'm asking is that we get to come back again and hang with you. In oh, the man. Future because I, sure. I definitely want to do more with you, man. And I, I just think that, like, I'm glad that, like, I, we've talked before. And like I said, I've, I've known people, we know some of the same people. But to get to actually sit here with you and have this conversation, man, like, it means the world to me. Like, oh, and for I everything that, like, I dream of, like, wanting to show people with this hip hop study hall brand, what I care about me, what Ben and I talk about. Big shouts out to my man, Ben. Um, you stand for that, man, and I, and I, no, I, I, I like that. I said, I, one of the things that's big with me is giving people their flowers while they can enjoy them, man. So, <laughs> yo, Murphy, the spot is called House of Athlete. There's so many things going on. Where can where can they find you at on social media too? Man, at yo Murph, yo Murph, yeah, at yo Murph on on Instagram. I have a Twitter, but I haven't touched it, so <laughs> right. that's about it. They started Instagram, they got <laughs> yeah, you, man. Yeah. Again, I, I appreciate, appreciate you, man. No, Thank I you for having you, us, man. Bro. It's Hip Hop Study Hall, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just having fun with it. I promise you I am, man. Yo, Murphy, <laughs> appreciate you, man. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir.